Hi, I'm Miha, and this is Miha on the Mic, solo. This week, I want to talk about home. I have a lot of trouble answering the questions, where are you from? I'm from Queens, so my passport is American, but I'm still a foreigner here because I'm Latina. Uh, My parents are Colombian, so my blood is Colombian, but not my passport. I moved to France in my 20s, so if you're asking me where I'm literally coming from, I'm probably coming from France if I'm flying anywhere. Where's home? I live in Paris, but my family lives in Bogota and New York, so home is kind of everywhere. What's your background? I'm Colombian-American, but in Colombia they say I'm American, and in America they say I'm Latina. Sometimes they say I'm a first-generation Latina daughter of immigrants. In France, though, they say I'm American, and have never once questioned my level of English. (sighs) It's funny, these questions are meant to categorize us and help people get who you are, right? But really, these questions feel awkward and just make for awkward answers. Here, let me tell you about the very first time I asked mommy these questions. I sit her down very seriously one Saturday morning at the age of six. I tell her to turn down the cartoons on the TV. My brother complains. But I tell her, this is serious, mommy. She turns off the TV. She's terrified. I take her hand in mine, and I look her right in the eyes, and I ask, Mommy, what am I? What do you mean, she says. What am I? Am I white, Latino, indigenous, black, Asian, Pacific Islander? They ask us at school. They don't have an option for Colombian. And she says, but you aren't Colombian. And I said, what? Yes, mommy, you're American. You were born here. And I said, yeah, but... You are Colombian. Papi is Colombian. I come from you. So I'm Colombian. No, she says. You're American, and if anything, you're Latina, because we're Latin American since Colombia is in Latin America. And I say, that's stupid. And she says, lenguaje? But I look really sad, so she asks me, why? Why is it stupid? Well, it's like this. My passport is American, but my heart and my blood and my soul and my language is Colombian, so why can't I be Colombian? And she says, sorry, mija, that's just the way it is. For months, I was indignant. I was so upset by this information that I protested by writing Colombian next to my name any chance I got. The next time I went back to Colombia, I told my grandma. And she said, Papers don't matter. What matters is in your heart. And so I said, my heart is Colombian. And so she made me a traditional campesina dress that I wore all summer so I could be Colombian. As an adult, that involved to saying, I'm Colombian American. When I talked to my friends, they knew my parents were Colombian, that we listened to Latin music, that we speak Spanish at home, and that we threw the best backyard barbecue parties. After I moved to France, I felt that attachment even more. Because here, you can only be one thing. And that's what's on your passport. I'm American here, period. Okay, I guess. I won't argue. I'm an immigrant. I've since accepted that I'm a little bit of both. Colombian American. Period. But then, I went back to Colombia this year. I went back to see my family for the first time in 15 years. And at the immigration line, an officer stopped me in the foreigner queue. Usted no es colombiana? You're not Colombian? And for the very first time in my life, I had to say to an officer of the law, no, I'm not Colombian, I'm American. And it hurt to say that. I felt a pang in my heart that day.
I guess I should take it as a compliment. It means that no matter what my passport says, I've got a Colombian face. But it still hurt. You know, I built Miha's story out of these questions and these moments. And a lot of our guests on the show have talked about these questionings. Maybe there is no real right answer. It's all blended anyway, right? All of our parents left their homes and were kind of floaters from different cultures. (sighs) Why am I saying all this? Well... One day I will have a daughter and she will ask me the same questions and I hope that maybe I'll have a better answer for her. I hope that maybe the labels won't mean so much in the future. Maybe Mijas in the future will have other things to worry about. But I hope that they will know and understand how hard it was for us to find home. Thanks for listening. This is Miha on the Mic, a season of reflection on our shared experiences as daughters of immigrants. Over the next couple of weeks, I'll be sharing stories like these and inviting guests to share theirs. Follow us on Instagram at Miha Podcast and leave us a note if you like this story. Tune in every Wednesday for a new story from Miha. This is a production of Studio Ochenta, a Latina-owned multilingual podcast studio dedicated to raising voices across cultures. For more from Studio Ochenta, follow us at Ochenta Podcasts on Instagram. That's Ochenta Podcasts with an S at the end on Instagram. And don't forget, this season is also about you. If you have a story you'd like to share, I invite you to reach out on Instagram at Miha Podcast and leave us a message with a short story or memory of yours that warms your heart. We'll read it out loud on the show. Thanks for listening. Ciao.